to my channel. If you're new here and you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below, become a part of the family before you go. Today we're gonna be doing a car tour. I have uploaded a video of me getting it, asking if you guys wanted to see a car tour, and I got a lot of comments saying, yes, please do a car tour. So here we are, I'm gonna show you a car tour. I have realized that within the last few car themed videos, I never even said exactly what the model and like everything like that is. And I apologize for that. I was editing and I was like, I didn't even say what car I got. Like, isn't that so weird? The car that I'm gonna be showing you today is a 2019 Honda Insight EX. There is three tiers to this car. I don't know what they're all called, but I got the middle one. The highest tier has like a sunroof, all leather seats, a Wi-Fi hotspot. And then like the lowest one doesn't have Apple CarPlay. And I got the middle one that has Apple CarPlay and stuff like that. You guys will see all the features of it. I feel like it was a perfect middle ground and exactly what I wanted in a car. And so far, I'm obsessed with it. Especially because I went from having a 2008 Honda Civic to now a 2019 Honda. It is a big change. It is an exciting change because, you know, I work on the internet. It's really cool to have like higher technologically advanced things. So the fact that my car can do all these things is like very exciting for me and I love it. I have these two bags full of stuff that was in my last car. So we're gonna take both of these bags out and see how I wanna organize everything before I give you guys the tour. Before we begin, let me not forget to show you my outfit of the day. My dress is from Princess Polly. I am Hello Pocket. I am obsessed with it. My bralette is from Forever 21. And my shoes are Old Navy, but I think they're sold out of this color on the website. So they might have other colors in stock. I'm not sure, but I'm obsessed with these shoes. And that's about it. Simple, easy, summer outfit. Also, sorry, we're gonna get into the car, but really quick, I wanted to share this with you guys. I've been using this on my hair. This is only my second time using it, and I actually really love the way it's making my hair look, and this was only like $5 at Ulta. I don't know, it's just like a coconut oil, but you just put a little bit. I rub it in between my hands, and then I rub it lightly throughout my hair. Let me show you this way so you can see it. I feel like my hair just looks a lot healthier, like, I don't know. I just really love the way my hair looks and I feel like it gives it like a good shine. It looks pretty, it looks healthy. So I like it, I'm in. Check this out. Yesterday we did our walkway and now we can actually walk on it. How exciting. Number one cool thing about this car is if you have the keys near the car, you just put your hand on this handle and it will unlock for you. Let me put this stuff down. So I haven't touched anything, the car is locked and I have it on where it's just this handle but I can turn it on for any other handle so if I put my hand here, the car won't unlock but if I put my hand here, it unlocks. Also, if you guys do want to see more of the outside of it, I do have the vlog where I got it. I do like a whole car montage and show you the outside. But just for a little overview, this is what it looks like. I'm thinking I want to make this silver black just so that the whole thing is blacked out. But we'll think about that. We don't know yet. But for now, she's beautiful. Blocking out the license plate. But I love the back of it. I just think it's so sleek looking and beautiful. And then the front too, like... That's just a sexy car right there. Ooh. All right, let's start. Oh, hello, thank you for welcoming me. <laughs> it's a hot one, so we're gonna have to put the car on and put some air on. So to start the car, you put your foot on the brake and just press this once. Never had that before. Listen to how quiet it is. The car is on right now, like that's it. So this car does have Apple CarPlay, so you have to plug your phone in through a wire. It doesn't work through Bluetooth, but wires are always so long for iPhones. So Jarrett was nice enough, Zane's mom, my boyfriend's mom, if you're just watching my channel for the first time, got me a one foot charger. Look how cute it is, it's so little. So now there's not gonna be a big wire mess right here. Look at this. Instead of this big wire, we can put this little baby one here and it just sits, oh, it's the perfect little size, oh my goodness. Now we can just plug our phone in and look at that. It can just sit here with no mess. Oh my God, I love it so much, wow. And then up here, you just hit Apple CarPlay and you've got your phone on the screen. That is so cool. So now I have to go through these two bags and make my car, you know, alyssa -fied. So we're gonna do that and then I'll come back to you guys and give you a full tour. All right, so I went through both the bags and a lot of it is honestly junk that I do not need in this car because it's a lot of like adapters, but now I have all the plugs because this is like a newer car. So we don't need a lot of that and I don't wanna keep all of it in here and just clutter up this car already. So we're gonna take it all inside and disperse it how it may be dispersed. Like for example, this phone mount, I don't need because now it's on this screen when I connect my phone and I see the directions. So I don't need that. I found 
black ices. These are the best air fresheners, so we're going to throw one on the car. I kind of didn't want to because of the new car smell, but why not throw this in? It'll still smell like a new car because honestly, these only last like three days, let's be real. Put this on here. Oh, now my car is real. Let's put this up here for now. I do need to find out a garbage situation because I think the garbage that I had in my last car isn't going to fit in here, and my car will become a mess if I don't have a garbage in it, so we're going to have to figure that out. Maybe I'll get one that just hangs on the back of the seat. I feel like that would be best for me. Samantha Rue distracting me. So first things first over here on the side We've just got your basic mirror controls put it to the left you move your left put it to the right You move the right in the middle is nothing and then you use these little controls here Unlock and lock window lock and then all the windows down here. I have just a microfiber This isn't microfiber just like a regular cloth to wipe down any dust because in a black car Soon you will be able to see some dust floating up here. You can already see it. Look at that yeah, this is from the dealership so it needs to go because it's plastic and it's been sitting in here in the heat Which is not good. This is the trunk button if you hold this down the trunk opens and then down there is the hood of the car Up here. We have the gas tank. I'm not 100% sure what these two buttons do I think this is like the skid or something. I'm still learning about this car I just got it a few days ago So bear with me up here is like your trip like the miles and stuff And this is some controls for up here like I can control the brightness of the screen Here's where we get to one of my favorite parts about the car is if you look right here, this is the side camera. So you can either put your blinker on and the side comes up, or if you don't even want to put your blinker on, you just want to see next to you, you just hit the button and it turns on. How freaking cool. Then we move on to the steering wheel. And if you hit this home button, then up here on the screen, you can control what you want to see while you're driving. You can only do this when you're in park. You can't control it while you're driving, but you pick what you want to see on the dashboard of the car. So if I wanted to see what song is playing, then I pick this and this will show me the song that I'm playing the whole ride. And then I can also pick what I want to be playing here, which is crazy. I could also do range and fuel. So we have how many miles until I have to go get gas. And then we have my average fuel per gallon which is low because I'm sitting here right now with my car on and I'm not moving so on this side you can see my battery life and then on this side you can see gas because my car is half gas half electric and then in the middle here is where we have controls also from the steering wheel so over here I have lane control which basically kind of just keeps the car in its lane it doesn't self-drive but if you have your hands on the wheel while you're driving you can feel it kind of moving to keep you in the lane you just have to have your hands resting on the wheel but you press that the lines come up and then once those lines are solid filled in they're not filled in right now because I'm not next to line so it's not detecting any but when you're on the highway it will fill in the line solid and it will um, keep you in your lane you've also got cruise control and you can control how far you want to be from each car so you can be a car's distance two three I think it goes up to four will it turn on oh here we go so it can go up to a four car distance and it will stay at the speed that you set it at and it will break if you get too close to a car which is so so cool besides from that you've got your hang up and answer buttons and then you've just got all that stuff I just explained to you and then the horn in the middle and yes I just put my first 100 miles on it it came with 48 miles because they had to drive it from a different location but there's 100 miles on my car now and I have not gotten gas since and they're only it's only a dot down how crazy is that all right besides that you've just got your base I feel like I'm selling you guys the car at this point you've got your basic lights you've got your windshield wiper fluid and your um, windshield wipers now comes the fun part you guys the middle console what I think is really cool about this car is that it's a super big middle console so it kind of feels like separate which sometimes you don't want to be separate from the person next to you but you know what I mean it feels like you really have your own space and your own kind of cubby which I think is really cool one of the craziest things about this car is the buttons instead of a shifter you don't know how many times I've went to go like this to shift the car so you literally just well you have to put your foot on the brake it won't work if you don't put your foot on the brake obviously but I'm gonna put my foot on the brake now I want to show you the reverse so you press this in goes right into reverse and then you've got three camera settings you've got regular wide and you've got above so you can see how perfectly I'm parked against the curb right now and it's literally that easy like you literally just press a button it's so weird anyways this is something that I'm definitely getting used to but I think it's really cool all right so here we've got our modes this is economy mode which is electric and gas sport mode is so much fun you can go super fast but it uses more gas so I'm a puppet. I didn't know it. I use this when like kind of the highway is empty and it's just fun for me. I don't really use it that often. EV is just electric. So if I want to use just the battery, then I'll hit that. And then you've got your two smartphone connections and then you've got a cigarette 
lighter hole? Is that what those are called still? I don't even know. A power outlet? <laughs> I wish this was a regular plug instead of this, but whatever, it's fine. Then you've got all your AC controls, and then we go to the Apple CarPlay part. This is literally like a little iPad in your car. It's nuts. There is a home page. It's got all like other stuff on here besides the Apple CarPlay. You can listen to the radio and stuff. And then you just hit Apple CarPlay to go to your phone. You can use your messages. You can use um, the directions. You can use podcasts, Spotify, whatever you want to use. We got the volume controls right here. Brightness. Everything is super easy to use. And then here is the middle console. This moves like that much. So if you want to put your arm here, you can. If you want to move it back, you can. If you want to put two drinks. I got this little cup holder thing from Christmas tree shops. I thought it was cute. If you want to get under this thing, there is a storage compartment. I just have a lint roller, hair mousse, chapstick, lotion, and a phone adapter for like headphones and stuff and then which is also cool this slides over and you can put another drink right there then we move on to the passenger side we've got the glove box right here my camera is having trouble focusing today sorry guys this is like the user manual that the car comes with i have an emergency kit this has pens, wet naps, hair clips, hair ties, and then we're gonna throw some tampons in here later on. Got my restock of black ice. I have two extra chargers in here for anyone else. There's a shorter one and a longer one for if somebody in the back seat needs a charger. We've got an extra tripod because I tend to forget mine. Some wipes to clean the inside of the glass and some extra utensils that were in my old car. And now all that's left is I'm gonna pop the trunk and I'm gonna show you the back seat. So nothing crazy here. We've just got the window controls. It's actually a pretty roomy back seat as well. It's got a middle console, which my last car did not have. So this is really awesome for when I have people back here. And these seats do fold down, but I have yet to uh, try that. <laughs> now we've got the trunk and it's empty. Yay, cause I haven't put anything in here yet. But I think this is the seat thing. Oh, yes. And yes. So now I think I can just fold it down. Let's see. We're finding out together. Oh, would you look at that? That is so cool. If I ever need to fit anything big in here, I can. That seat just needs to move up. That's why that's not folding down. All right, cool, good to know. I figured it out, look at me go. I almost forgot to show you the features up here. So this just has a mirror in it. And then we've got just the lights in the middle here. And you got your lights back there. And must I add that everything is super customizable in here. So if, like I said, you want your car door to open and not everyone else's, I have it that way where if I put my hand on the handle, only mine will open, not anybody else's, which I think is a safe way because if somebody's following you in the parking lot, you don't need them to be able to open your door. You know what I mean? But anyways, there's a lot of customizable things on here. Like you can change everything. So super, super cool. I feel like I'm in a freaking spaceship. Hands are over me or I'm shaking. Losing time, but this one got me feeling no way. But with that being said, I think landscapers just pulled up behind me, so we're gonna have to get this show on the road because they're gonna start to be loud. So that's gonna do it for me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this car tour. I probably left some things out. If I did, feel free to ask me in the comments, but this is the 2019 Honda Insight EX. It is amazing. If you guys need somebody to go to, if you're on Long Island or if you wanna travel from New York or wherever, you can go to the Bayshore location and ask for Phil. He was awesome. So good, got us a good deal, very nice, very helpful. Told me exactly when my car was there because we had to wait for it because I wanted black on black. So he was very helpful. So I highly recommend if you guys want to go check him out. Today's notification shout out goes to Alyssa Marie. She actually has the account on Instagram all for Alyssa, which is so awesome. Thank you to whoever has a freaking fan account for me. Like I could never ask anymore of anybody like how do you how do you like me that much that is so cool like thank you for taking time out of your day to do that for me i love all of your edits on instagram so i love you so much and your name is Alyssa, so i love you even more thank you for being a part of the notification squad if anyone else would like a notification shout out comment down below letting me know the notifications turned on and you might be in my next video i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time bye guys Oh shit, our friends texting again, saying let's move along I don't know why, but just for tonight, I wanna do something wrong Oh no, no